Welcome to the shooting show. This week it's a Roebuck Bonanza as I head out for my first books of 2018. Plus we bring you all the latest news from the Northern Shooting Show. This year I was quite late uh, at starting my row stalking. I'm usually ready for the opening of the season and I always look very much forward to the 1st of April. Uh, but this year I was, uh, I was away in Africa and uh, I've had a very busy uh, Q1 2018. So I was v uh, very much behind uh, on, on my uh, high seat clearance and all this kind of uh, prep works, so important. I mean, clearing the briars uh, out on, onto the the approach to the to the high seats is, is crucial in the dark. Uh, <laughs> I've ended up flat on my backside a number of occasions. So uh, if you've got a guest, you know it's uh, safety implications. Uh, you've got to check the the, the, the arcs. So uh, make sure the arcs are clear, and uh, obviously the, uh, the the high seat has to be safe and sound, and the, all the straps are tight. Nobody's interfered with them, or or you've. Uh, had some deterioration and the and the straps rotted, so check all that. And uh, it's these kind of things that the, the, make the, the slight differences, but those differences are uh, you know the difference between success and failure. Uh, so it's very important to make sure that uh, you know the high seats are safe and sound, and uh, you have an easy approach, quiet approach to them. Uh, you know, in, in in the dark hours especially. Yeah, as we carried on uh, uh, sorting out the high seats, uh, we, we did notice uh, some significant damage uh, in, in a couple of areas where there were some young trees. Uh, so to keep the forester on side, uh, we were going to concentrate on, uh, on this area. Uh, looking around, spying, stalking, uh, just assessing the area, assessing the deer, uh, all this kind of intel, it's time well spent. Uh, you know, that, that time in the field is priceless. and. Uh, this year playing catch up you know every opportunity to be away from the desk and being out in the field was taken and it's not just about shooting deer it's shooting the right deer uh, assess the area look at the damage work out which deer are there and and uh, you know what to take out if, if you shoot a, a master buck in an area you'll get a lot of damage with the, the, the younger bucks coming in and and fraying and and trying to establish their territory so you know you've got to be mindful of that uh, but you know every situation is different, so it's that time in the sp spent in the field. It, it makes all the difference, and it's about shooting the the right buck, and that's the difference between just shooting deer and deer management. Yeah, it uh, wasn't the book we were looking for. He was looking very nervous. I think he was uh, where he shouldn't have been and the bigger book will clear him out if he's there. Well, we're back out on day two of uh, Operation uh, Roebuck after yesterday's uh, cleaning the high seat, but good fun to be out. We saw quite a few deer, noticed a lot of damage and uh, actually on the way home, uh, we just had a, a, a drive round and, and a spy from a, a high point looking down one of the boundary hedges uh, where the, the, this big book or one of the, the big books we'd uh, earmarked for uh, the larder. And uh, he was there with the dough and uh, working in and out of the hedge. 
it was kind of a bad position because the wind was all wrong. Uh, but uh, we, you know, it was a roll of the dice and uh, we decided to st uh, stalk down the hedge. Uh, uh, we need to do it quite quickly. Uh, and off we went. We'll just give her five minutes, let her wander off. She doesn't know what's happened. He went down well, I was confident of the shot. I'll just let her uh, trot away. Led well, and he was a heavy old boy. Quick drag out, and uh, we stopped off at the pub for a celebratory pint, early to bed, and uh, we're back out this morning. The thing with stalking big blocks of rape like this, you've got the hedges, the banks and the tram lines. It's very important to keep scanning up those tram lines as you're going forward. Uh, there's a lot of dew this morning. Uh, the dry areas will be in those tram lines. If the deer are not browsing, they'll be resting. And uh, 
nine times out of ten, they'll rest up those wide tram lines. I'm going to take these off, uh, trendsetter by Jeff Garrett there. But what a glorious morning to be out roast stalking. Uh, you know, fleeting sun uh, in behind the clouds and then nice and bright and it's, it's come out lovely now. Uh, Skylark Serenade. We've seen a lot of deer uh, driving around, getting out, looking and spying in the, in the sort of key places. Uh, but it was, uh, it was difficult. And so we, we decided it's best to just work the, the field margins and the big rape crop, the south end of the state here, uh, with the crop rotation, there's uh, quite a lot of rape in this area, uh, but big thick banks, uh, hawthorn hedges, uh, a lot of rape, and the only way is to work the wind and, and stalk the margins. Uh, and that's what we've done, and uh, yet it, wor it worked. Uh, there's a book here, uh, we identified him oh, last year, and uh, then it all went quiet, and we didn't see him uh, at the end of the season. and. We, we caught up with him again this morning. Uh, it was a frustrating two hours, uh, not seeing a great deal once once we uh, uh, took to the grass and started stalking the boundaries uh, all the way around and then hooked back up into the wind again, down the field margins and uh, it just all happened very quickly. Uh, we saw him, I just saw, saw the, uh, the two does and they, they moved forward and the, the buck's head came up and Head went down again, but could still see the antlers. Uh, it was just pretty cool with it, really. Uh, deployed the sticks. He was, yeah, what's that? And it was a quick shot, opportunity shot. But nice, steady shot. And uh, yeah, the uh, Swarovski Helix and uh, Winchester Combo. Yeah, it did the trick. Very satisfying. Satisfying indeed. Well, that was a thrilling start to the season there for me. And now, the Shooting Show News. This is the Shooting Show News. This week we report on location from the Yorkshire Event Centre. It's the Northern Shooting Show 2018. In only a third year, this show is already a major fixture on the sporting calendar, with industry heavyweights lending it serious support. 
Good weather and a range of field sports themed attractions meant the shooting public was out in force too. The show kicked off with the DNA Film Festival, probably the first ever hunting film fest to take place in the UK. With sponsorship from Sauer and Minox, the show saw a £5,000 bursary awarded to Danish filmmaker Ulrich Orskov. We caught up with the organisers Daryl and Byron Pace. I think the feedback that I've been getting over the last two days has been, it's been great. You know, I think everybody had a good time. For us what was important was the messaging of it. Um, it, was, it was about showcasing what the future of hunting might look like and how we could do things better. It's something to build on for next year and the fact that it was so, so many people um, entered films and it wasn't just from the UK, the spread was from all over the world so it was absolutely brilliant to see. And we had two categories, we had an amateur category and we had a professional category so anybody who did any kind of film work and was paid for it on a professional capacity, that is where they sat. And then, you know, there's a huge amount of enthusiastic amateurs out there with very, very little equipment and very little money spent on equipment. And I think that was probably one of the things that impressed us most, was the fact you can produce a good film with, yeah, well, like Byron said, very little budget, very uh, basic equipment. And, and I think what shines through is actually the story is more important. Yeah, honest the, stories. The honest stories is more important than the actual filming of the thing, because then you, you, um, get, you get a great film from it. And Sauer was busy launching a new rifle at the show itself as well. What we've got is the Sauer 100 Pantera. It's a bit of a crossover between a target rifle, a varmint shooter and a hunting rifle. It's actually, the looks, it looks quite chunky, but it actually is quite well balanced and it, it actually is lighter, a lot lighter than it looks. Um, available, we're being told they should, should arrive with us in around June. Uh, what obviously you've got an adjustable comb, fluted barrel, built on a Sauer 100 action. It is a bargain. At the price point for 1580, I expect from what the feedback that we had, the first lot is going to go quite quickly. But what do you say to that? I mean, it's, the, the price point is what it is. You're getting a hell of a lot of rifle for that. Pick one up, and hopefully, if you like it, buy one. Staying with rifles, there were two new releases at the Viking arm stand. First up, a rimfire from Ruger. Ruger Precision Basic is designed as a long-range 2-2 rifle. Uh, it's based on a standard rimfire action with an 18-inch target barrel, factory screw cut, takes standard 1022 magazines, fully adjustable stock, AI-15 pistol grip style, safety bladed trigger, adjustable between two and a half and five pounds. It has the ability to change the bolt throw. So you can mimic either a 30 degree 2-2 or a 60 degree full bar. Free floated handguard, allowing you to hang basically whatever you want on accessory wise, bike, pods, hand grips, uh, and very, very accurate, which basically pertains to the 30 MOA rail. Perfect rifle for a long range 2-2 rifle, 25 yards, 200 yards, whatever you want it to do. And Merkel's Speedster stock got its first UK launch at the show. So this is the uh, the latest edition from the uh, Helix range called the Speedster. Um, it features a an adjustable stock where you can set any anywhere you wish. So if you have a an aim point on, you can lower it. If you have a normal scope, you can higher it. It features an ergonomic grip, um, whereas the other Helix are more like a standard grip. Um, and the benefit to this is it's just just a better grip. Uh, all round. It features the standard straight ball action. Um, comes in a variety of calibres from 2 to all the way up through to your Magnum sort of ranges, 3006, all the, all the standard calibres. It's about the, you know, being able to grip the gun in the most, in the best way possible and then onto the action back, onto the action and back, back, back. There you go. Heading outside, we spotted a pair of sticks that was attracting a great deal of interest. Uh, the Viperflex Sticks STYX. Uh, I've just taken over from the uh, standard uh, Viperflex Elite and Journey models. The sticks will be called Elite and Journey, as were their forefathers. We've got a few new features. So the new cradles are uh, rubberized on the top, that is wider on the foregrip, and also at the stock end. And we've got a single-handed deployment mechanism that we can use to place the sticks uh, with one hand. We've also got improved uh, feet, so the feet are designed to stop the sticks from plugging into the mud. 
And we've also had uh, the Golo adapter built into the cradles so you can kneel down or sit with the knee sticks. Yeah, everyone seems to love the upgraded options. Uh, Viperflex have always led the market when it comes to quad sticks. Uh, but now that they've had a few tweaks, they've made the, uh, the best sticks even better. And down at the clay line, the show's Try Before You Buy facility found favour among shotgun manufacturers, Browning among them. We're here as a tr sort of Try Before You Buy type of thing, really. So if you're buying a new gun or interested in buying a new gun, hopefully it's a Browning, um, what better opportunity to come and try the gun first? We will sponsor the cartridges and the clays for you. Come and have a go and um, try out maybe two or three different types of gun to decide which one fits you best and performs the best for you. We've been busy right from sort of start of the show this morning, right the way through to now, and it's nearly half three, so we haven't stopped uh, all day. It's been tremendous, yeah. Lots of people coming through, loads of different types of shooters, brand new shooters, um, experienced shots, a whole range of, uh, of people coming through looking at different products. The Liberty Light has been the one that we've taken off the stand the most. Uh, it's the Liberty is the new gun that's designed for the smaller frame, so particularly for lady shooters, uh, but also for the smaller gentlemen as well. Uh, it's higher in the comb and uh, it's less, uh, less toe in the, in the stock as well, so it's a more comfortable game, gun to shoot. Very lightweight as well, it's an alloy action with a steel reinforced breech face and um, has all the nice extended chokes and everything else. So it's a, a nice looking gun and ideal for the smaller frame. Ely Hawk was the Clayline's overall sponsor, and marketing manager David Thompson told us what it meant to them, as well as finding time to show us the new Ely Clayload. Fantastic to work with the team here at Northern Shooting Show. They've done a great job every year uh, putting on this incredibly long, I think it's well over 500 metres of uh, Clayline. And they pack a lot into it as well. So right at the very top we have the BASC shooting coaching line, where you can have a have a go, but also do uh, a full lesson with them. Then moving down the line, we've got uh, the CPSA uh, instructors who are passionate about getting new people into the sport and um, giving people have a go experiences um, all across their line. There, they're shooting Ely cartridges, they're shooting Ely selects and Ely blues, and a few smaller bores that we produce like CT20s and uh, some of the 410s for the smaller kids who come along for shooting. Right at the bottom is a 50 bird sporter set up by Hazelbank Shooting Ground. Now, Hazelbank Shooting Ground have been uh, on board for two years now and do a great job. They were up here early, checking, rechecking, setting out all the traps safely. I'm very impressed with the way that they run a shooting line. This year it's 190 years that we've been in existence as a company, which is fantastic news that we're here and, and still thriving in this, in this uh, fantastic market that we service uh, day in, day out. And to celebrate that 190 years, we've released a brand new cartridge called the Titanium Strike. That is a nickel coated lead shot, perfect with a nice 25 mil brass. You'll get smooth ejection, you'll get better patterning, and then also you'll get harder impact on the clays because the lead shot is hardened up quite considerably with the nickel alloy that's put around the lead. So that means basically we've got a product now that's fit for the next generation of shooting where biodegradable clays are getting hard and harder to, to break. And so we've got now a product that will actually um, defeat those clays really well, which is why we've called, called it a new era in dusting the clays. And finally, Thermal fans got to see the latest innovation from Pulsar. We've got two models available, so that they're built around the same system as the, the popular Pulsar Helium thermal images. Um, we've got an XQ38 and an XP50, so exactly the same sensor options as on the, the Helium. Um, our XQ38 is a 384-288 17 micron sensor uh, with a 644-80 ammo LED display. Uh, XP50 is the 644-80-17 micron sensor uh, with the same AMOLED display. Um, both models will offer a nice wide field of view. Uh, they're both fully waterproof. Both feature the new Pulsar BPAC battery system, so the interchangeable battery on the side here. Both fully Wi-Fi, so compatible with the StreamVision app for recording to the device, streaming to, your, to the mobile app. Um, and obviously recording through that facility as well. Um, fully waterproof. Um, benefits, main benefit we see of these is obviously for prolonged observation, they'll be a lot more comfortable for the user. 
That's all from the Northern Shooting Show. We'll be back next year. That was the Shooting Show News. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you're not a member of Basque, it's time to join now. Basque, looking after your sport, looking after you. This has been The Shooting Show.